All right, happy 4th, everybody. Um, just wanted to throw a quick video together. Um, hadn't made anything in a while. This was kind of impromptu, but um, I've got a stereo here in the garage that it, the garage itself isn't uh, temperature controlled. So uh, it gets pretty hot out here. And today they're calling for like a 100 degree heat index. And uh, I noticed the other day when it was uh, fairly hot that day as well, I walked over and, and just put my hand on top of this receiver after it had been playing for maybe an hour or so. And I was like, this thing is hot. So I uh, so reached out to my buddy, Mark Davis, and uh, I've seen him use fans all, almost exclusively on every video that he shows a, a new receiver or, or of some sort of equipment that it puts out a lot of heat. And uh, so he recommended some fans, uh, basically some stuff on Amazon that uh, he had picked up. Uh, so I went ahead and just did a search and found this one site. I think he actually sent me a link and it actually had uh, multiple types. So I ended up pulling the trigger on uh, some of these over here, which I'll show you in a second. But um, I picked out something that had blue. Um, they have some that don't have any lights. They have some that do the RGB uh, or whatever it's called if, if, where the colors just change. Uh, a lot of kids like that in their computers now. These are basically computer fans. And so uh, I just, just decided to get something that had blue just to be different, I guess. But anyway, um, they're, they're pretty simple to hook up. So they're just two wires. Uh, the only thing you have to find, and if you're like me, I've been hanging on to power cords of every type for you know 30 years probably so i have quite a few so i started digging around and i'll go ahead and flip this thing around and basically show you what i've got and what i'm going to hook up all right so here's one that i found in my junk pile i don't know what it goes to um that's the whole point of saving these sometimes i'll find something that need a power cord and i'll dig it out this one here as you see you know, your input is 120 volts, obviously from the from the uh, the wall socket. But this is what we're looking for here: output DC nine volts. You don't want to hook up anything to these fans that says AC output, or you're going to fry it really quick. So, uh, in this case, nine volts sounds like a happy medium. I do have some that say six volt, but uh, I got a feeling that would probably be a little bit lackluster as far as how well the fan blows. So, this nine volts pretty good. Um, if you had a 12 volt output. Uh, which will probably be a little bit bigger in size. Uh, that would probably be more ideal because um, I think these things probably would like 12 volts, but I think nine will be just fine for now. So what we're gonna do is, uh, here's the other end of it here. I'm just gonna cut this off. This one's actually a pretty long cord, but I'm just gonna cut it off about here. And then uh, once I do that, then we're gonna basically strip back the ends here. And then this, the fan that comes in the kit, this is it here, Antec. Matter of fact, here's the box that they came in. I got a three pack. It was like about 20 bucks for this three pack. I'll leave a link down in the description. But um, these have the type of connectors, uh, obviously for your uh, your PCs, uh, they can be daisy chained. And so we're gonna cut this end off. Also just two wires here. So, and from talking to Mark, basically you got a 50-50 shot of getting this right the first time um, because apparently you have to have the polarity right or the fan won't spin. So I was in my brain thinking, well, wouldn't it just spin the wrong way? But I'm not sure if that's the case, but anyway, um, simple enough here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna cut these off camera cause I'm working with one hand here. And then uh, I'll show you how I kind of test it out with one of these uh, batteries that I have here in the garage. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can do this with one hand. So. Let's do this first. We'll touch them here. And it blips a little bit, but it doesn't do anything. Try it again. You see it barely moves. So let's flip them around. And oh, got the wire in the fan, but there you go. There she lights up blue and spins. So just based on that, I can at least tell that uh, the positive side of the battery likes uh, this side. If I flip it around and if I look at this particular uh, power wire here, it, it's white with a black dash there all the way down it. So that that is my positive. So if I look at this cable, this one here just has a uh, black, solid black and a solid white. So we're gonna see if maybe the, the solid white is gonna be the positive on this. I don't, I actually don't know if there probably is a some, something online that would maybe say that, but we're just gonna figure it out together. So give me a second to cut this end off here and get it spliced up and we'll plug it in and we'll see if this thing lights up like I hope it does. 
All right, so I got my solid white wired into the wire there you see with the black dashes and the white the white uh, on it and then just the black to the black there I got the fan here there's the connector i just chopped off let me get this back up here just don't want them to touch or it'll short out i've got the plug facing up like this since i'm working with one hand so basically i'm going to just plug my extension cord i have in and we'll see if this guy powers up oh there we go so that seems to be the trick. So at this point, all I have to do now is use some of the, a couple of these butt connectors, get these things cinched in, and then I'll probably throw some electrical tape on it, and then we'll go ahead and plug it up to the stereo and see how, how everything looks. All right, now we have the moment of truth here. Um, basically, uh, I have multiple plug options. What I wanted to do obviously with this setup is when I cut the stereo on, I want the fans to come on automatically. So I know I already have at least one, probably two on the back. Actually, I think all of them, I believe, cut on with the stereo at least. Some of them, I think, on the stereo actually stay hot even when the stereo is off. So I think I have two or three on this receiver here and also have one here. So just for the ease of me seeing it, I've got that one plugged in right there. And so basically, hopefully when we turn everything on here, we'll see some blue lights and we'll see some fan action here. All right, there we go. And of course, uh, I've been running this receiver earlier, so I can already feel the, the, the warm air being pulled out here. So I think this is a super easy, but vital thing that you can do for your older stereo equipment, especially. I don't know if newer stuff, you know, is a little bit better designed, but there's a lot going on in this receiver here. So the last thing you want to do for something like this is probably 35 years old. And of course we got guys that are using stuff back from the seventies and maybe even a little bit older than that. You know, if it's, especially if it's original, you know, it's been hot so many times that it's really a good idea to do something like this to try to pull some of that heat out, especially in an environment like this where it's so warm out here. In the wintertime, obviously I don't have a problem. It's very comfortable out here, but in the summertime, heat index with 100 like it is today, you don't wanna be running this thing for hours on time uh, with nothing pulling this heat out. So what I think I'm gonna do here, is you can see this thing has heat fins all the way across. I think I'm gonna put one here and put another one here and utilize one of those other plugs and I'll be able to have sufficient cooling for this receiver. I'll feel pretty comfortable running it this way. So uh, that I think is gonna do it. So. If anybody has any questions, just leave them down below. Um, pretty simple setup here. Uh, I decided to go kind of vintage JVC a while back. So I got the receiver, uh, got a matching uh, equalizer. Uh, this isn't exactly matching on the cassette deck, but it's fairly close in era. Uh, and then of course I have a much newer uh, CD player here uh, till I, I can find something more that matches here. And of course I, I just like to stream music out here. So I just have a cheap PC that I do that with. And then of course, this is my workbench here. But if anybody has any questions on that at all, don't hesitate to ask and, and we'll be glad to help you best we can. All right, that's gonna wrap it up. Uh, you can probably tell I'm already sweating pretty good out here. Um, it's not even close to noon yet. I think it's only like 1030, but I'm already swimming in my own sweat here. So I'm gonna get this other fan set up and that way I'll know that I'm good to go out here on this, this receiver and I won't have to worry about it cooking. So y'all stay cool and we'll catch you on the next time. Thanks.